All right, you ready? Yep. All right. Welcome back to another video, Coyote Classics. It's been a minute, um, but we got some new inventory lined up that we're gonna check out today. I'm Dalton. I'm Chad, and man, I am super excited today. We are super excited mm -hmm. today to show you some of these cool cars. Yeah, it's February, it's starting to feel like spring, the snow's melting, and it's about ready for a muscle car and convertible season. So let's get right into it. So today we're just gonna go ahead and highlight just a few of the cars that we bought last week. And uh, super excited to show you guys this 1981 Z28 Camaro. Beautiful paint. I just took undercarriage photos of this yesterday and the undercarriage is 100% rust free. Uh, interior's all original, tan interior with a brand new 350 motor. I love this one. I do too. I like the Hearst dual gate shifter and I like the white with this uh, bronze stripe package. Yeah, Two tops. It's got, it's got the matching interior. It's got tilt wheel cruise control. And uh, one of the cool things about it, it's got a Hearst dual gate shifter in it. That's awesome. Um, which is really awesome. T-tops and a brand new 350 motor. This thing hauls ass. Jay just finished cleaning that one, so that one we're gonna be picturing and doing a video of. And these cars, like I said, are not on the website yet, but they will be soon. And maybe by the time you're watching this video, they're on there. So run to the website and uh, you'll be able to see a full walk around and test drive of all these cars, getting into more detail. This one I really like, 1971 Olds Cutlass. Favorite thing about this one has gotta be that color. When I pictured it in the sun yesterday, it was one of the most gorgeous blues. Um, another great thing for anyone down south, it's got air conditioning. So uh, keep you cool in the summer and it does. cool and in the it, winter. Even though it's a bench seat, I love the white interior. It's a very nice original interior. Um, Jay did a great job cleaning it. You can tell it's still original carpet in it. Um, just a nice car all the way around. Rust free underneath, corners of the doors are great. A good car. And how about you tell us about the 70 Nova. Um, this is a pretty neat car. Give them the spiel. Well, I'll tell you about this one. This one I did not know when we bought it. <laughs> I didn't know when we bought it that this was a numbers match. That's a pretty good sounding Raptor right there. It does sound good. Every time someone goes by, they got to rev up. I don't give a shit what they're driving. When they I go like by, it. it's like a competition or something. It is. But that guy wins in the Raptor, I think. That was pretty good sounding. Anyway, I'll get back to it. This 1970 Nova, um, I bought it. The previous owner said it was a Super Sport, but failed to mention that it was the original motor. This is a numbers matching 350, 300 horse that I'll tell you what, is one of the fastest cars in the lot, especially for a small block. Um, every single thing works on it when it came in. It's just the way we like to buy them. A couple things we're gonna do on this one, I don't know if I told you yet, Dalton, we're gonna put the wheel well trim and a new back bumper and just a buff. Other than that, it's ready to go. I think that'll look good. I'm gonna answer this because people are gonna ask, what's that yellow sticker? That's just because it's new inventory. We just put that on there saying that, hey, it's not for sale, it's not on the website yet. Yep. But that answers your question that you're gonna have. And this is another one that's pretty near and dear to your heart, Dad, because I've grown up hearing stories about, you know, a Toyota pickup just like this one. And, I had, and I had a around. blue one that spent more time in the ditch having fun than on the road. <laughs> um, but it was just like this. The same uh, Nerf bars, the same KC lights, the same wheels and tires, 311050s, uh, five speed. It was awesome. Mine was blue with the silver stripes. This one's uh, silver with the gray stripes. So this, this, spitting this, image though, 1989. Yeah. It's really cocky and it seems like everyone has a story with one of these Toyotas. I know Brands had one. Everyone I talked to has been telling me that they had one of these back in the day and, and had a lot of fun and gotten a lot of trouble with them. So if you're watching on YouTube and you have a special memory with a 1989 Toyota pickup, comment down below and, and let us know what that is. Um, these, uh, I'll tell you what, I mean, there's, they're hard to find and this yeah. is 100% rust free. The motor's just been rebuilt 5,000 miles ago. Inside's like new, it's got the original window sticker, receipts. Yep. It's got a ton of receipts. I mean, when I went through all that, this is the kind of truck you want to buy. The guy before it kept about everything from 1989 until present day, everything that was done to it. And that just kind of tells you a lot about the guy who had it. And, and uh, it's a great sign going forward and, and what you're getting. But uh, these are just some of our new inventory. We'll run through the showroom really quick and show you some of the other stuff that you can see on our website. Let's do it. Do you know if Punks Tawny, Phil, seen his shadow, if we're gonna have a quicker spring, or if it's gonna be winter a little bit longer, have you heard anything on that on that front? We're gonna have a quicker spring, Good. definitely. I'm, I'm hoping so, it feels like it. I keep saying that and everyone keeps saying, no, you just wait, well, we're gonna get more snow. Um, we're just gonna pop in the show just quick, show you some of the cars that we got. But all these you can view on our website, CoyoteClassics.com, and on our YouTube channel. Each car's got an individual walk around and test drive going in, in depth about them. So we're just gonna give you a brief overview of some of the ones that we like and that are our favorites that are in here today. Speaking of test drives, Dalton, I can't wait to get some drier roads and a lot more sunshine, man, because mm -hmm. I can't wait to have a lot of fun with these things. Yeah. 
just look at that quick, Brady. I love, I love those cars under the lights. Really nice Nova and a really nice Charger. Yeah, that is a nice Nova, isn't it? It just has a great stance. It is, it's cocky, good color. Resell red. How about this one? 1966 Buick Skylark GS. Um, we just highlighted and featured this one. This one's gonna go on the website hopefully in a couple days, but we just did the video. This is absolutely spectacular. Very rare, they only made, in, in 1966, the Skylark GS, they only made 2,047 convertibles um, and only 1,500 automatics. Um, so pretty, pretty what do you neat. think of the color? I think it's, I think it's great. It's flashy. Yeah, it I'll great. tell you, it's got so much uh, beautiful chrome on it. All the chrome was redone. Um, another one we can briefly talk about is a 1970 Olds 442 W30 badges. We can't prove it's a real W30 or not, but everything leans to it. Really nice under the hood, but we're gonna close those so you guys can get the full effect there watching on YouTube. It's, it's a damn nice car. We've had a lot of action on it. And uh, our showrooms are pretty bare. We're not going out of business, but we sold eight cars last week, so it's time to fill them up again. Um, hence the new inventory out front. One other thing, this was originally Sherwood green, and that's exactly what the restorer took it back as. And I love it even went with the body color rims, mm -hmm. Firestone oval tires. It's a great one. It is. Back there, just our wall of Mustangs. We sell a lot of Mustangs here. And again, if you see one you like, go see it on the website and learn all about it. We sold a few last week. Mm -hmm. We did. We're gonna teleport to the other showroom, give you a quick overview there and see what else we can find. All right, now we found ourselves in the middle of our second showroom. Um, a lot of sold cars in here. Beautiful back Everything's kind of just messed up though. It is. I mean, that's what's hard. It's hard to keep everything straight when, you know, we're not really a museum. You know, we price cars to sell and they sell fast. So stuff's constantly moving in and out. So sometimes you'll catch us and the showrooms are lined up and look beautiful. Other days it's just madness. <laughs> and today it's madness. Yeah. Uh, tell us about this Duster Twister. This is one that you London like. Twist Yellow. I mean, gorgeous interior. I love the two-tone interior in this one. Factory build sheet, um, body color underneath. Just a gorgeous car. Manual transmission, numbers matching, motor transmission. Um, Fantastic, just the way it came from the factory, all body color underneath, like I said. Pretty Something you can jump in and drive and go to any yep. show. Over in this corner, um, make sure you watch our walk around test drive video on this 1970 Caprice. It's got the best original interior I think I've ever seen. Yeah, pretty it is cool. so comfortable. Um, couple sold cars here that sold last week. This one's going to Pennsylvania, and this one's going to Missouri. So we sell them all over, so no matter where you're at, we can get them to you. Um, How about this 41 Ford? Street Rod, that's that cool. such a cool car. Again, go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Make sure you check that walk around and test drive video. Um, we had a couple people in the back seat. It was super fun. Just a, what a cruiser. Four door, uh, tons of power, vintage air, gorgeous chrome, show quality car. Something Grandpa Jim would like. He would like that, wouldn't he? Yeah, I think we should try to sell it to old Grandpa. Uh, L. Silverado. L. Silverado. So that's if you right. watched our walk around and test drive video on this El Camino, Chad and I had a little fun with the El Silverado that's airbrushed on the quarter. I got back, did some research. El Silverado means the place where silver is found in, uh, in Spanglish, they And this said. car has a lot of silver. It's got a lot of silver, so I thought that was kind of a neat little touch. Um, that's kind of what we have in this showroom. Um, we'll maybe go take a look at the shops. Yeah, do it. All right, so back here we got a few Chevys. One a little bit older than the other. This is a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Four door. Look at it underneath the hood. Um, air conditioning. Tons of chrome, yeah. Air conditioning, vintage air, power steering, power brakes, tons of chrome, uh, aluminum radiator. This one was built to drive. Yeah. Um, and you know what? It might be a four door, but it's a four door hardtop. You don't mm -hmm. see those very often. I love it. You roll all the windows down. You got an open space from the front wing window to the back pillar, and uh, you can bring your friends along. Yeah, bring your friends. Mike, what do you think about a four door? Yeah, I like it. I like them. They're you know, harder to find than two doors, probably because they weren't as popular, but. What happened to the most of the four doors, Mike? They got crunched. <laughs> they either got wrecked, they got crushed, they rusted away, but. I always this parts, and you know what? That makes this ultra rare. And the older people get, how much easier is it to open that back door, get your friends in there, grandkids, kids, whatever. Yeah, you know, it's a pain in the ass to crawl in the older we get, push the seat back and try to crawl on these back seats. Yeah, finish this sentence. Four doors for more. Friends. There we go. All right, now we're gonna check out this Camaro. We actually got two Camaros in. Um, one is not here right now. 
um, but that will be next week's video. I love the color on this. They had about an 800 mile trip back from the Rocky Mountains. So they got a little dirty on transport, but I'm really excited to see what Mike can do with this paint um, when he gets a chance to buff it, because I like the color a lot. Yeah, we just put some new tires on it. A couple other things, we had these marker lights. We usually don't do that, but this is such a nice car and those marker lights were, were stained a little bit. We went ahead and ordered some new ones of those, but perfect black interior. It's got the horseshoe shifter. The exhaust is kind of like that resto mod exhaust. Oh, yeah. You know, it's got a, just an awesome sound. Um, Built 350, this is at least probably 400 horse as well. Every car that we got from that Colorado package, all five of them have well over 350 horse. I like the sound of that. That, yeah. that always they makes all it more sound fun. awesome. I can't wait till it gets nice to start uh, getting behind the wheel and ripping tires loose. Tour to Punk's Tony Phil, it'll be awfully soon. <laughs> yep, Phil did see his shadow. Well, Jay, what are you doing over here? Everybody that I made some food. Here, talk out. What'd ones. you make? So you're, so you're showing everyone? I'm sharing it with everybody. You want some? No, thanks. You have a fork? I'm ready for that undercurrent picture. Alright, we'll be over in a minute. We'll take um, them. Timmy, what do you got here? A little T bird? Yep. Just getting ready to finish it up. Yep, getting it done. This was one that I pulled the trigger on, and I'm awfully glad I did. Nicer nice than car. I even thought when we, when we got it in. It's got the tilt away wheel, which is a feature I love in the T birds. Um, fuel injection, air conditioning. This is awesome. I like these a lot. These are big boy cars. Nice, huh? This is a beautiful car. Tons of options. You can tell these guys that it's got like sniper fuel injection, mm -hmm. air yep. conditioning works. I mean, power seat, power windows. This thing's just ready to roll. They're just a damn neat car in design. Like even this part, this trim piece that comes all the way across, it just filters into your door handle. It's, it's cool. Very cool. Swing away wheel. The only thing is we have a... Go ahead, Tim. And the color, Chad told me the other day this was his favorite color. <laughs> it is, turquoise, yeah. and then you know what? Everyone else is telling me it's blue. So I guess I'm colorblind. And it's I looked up the original code and it is blue. It's called blue. I thought it was turquoise. Well, you gotta be careful. <laughs> All right. Oh, you... how about this? We just sold this uh, 1970. Yeah. Grand Prix, right? Yeah, Dave just sold that this morning. Justin is gonna be working on the sold ticket. And uh, we'll let Justin talk to you about what sold tickets are and, and uh, what he's going to do to this awesome. Grand Prix before it goes out. Well, what we have here is a 1970 Pontiac Grand Prix. Uh, it's, it's another sold unit. Beautiful car. 400 cubic inch, Model J. Just doing a sold ticket on it, make sure all the lights and fluids and everything is, looks good and everything works. The only issue right now I'm having is the, the blower motor doesn't go on high. So I have a feeling I'm going to change the relay on that, but otherwise everything is perfect and it's a great car. I've always been a big Pontiac fan, so I enjoy working on this bad boy. Looks like break time. Tater top casserole. What are you having, Mark? A little, little Debbie? Big J's cooking 24-7. Really quick, we won't focus on this. We'll probably do something different, but Man, this new SS Dash is going to look great in this 1971 Chevelle. It is. 72 Chevelle, right? Yep. Sorry. One, two. Can't keep them all straight. No. And there, Big J is going to be detailing uh, 1970 El Camino. Yeah, that's a big block. I mean, that's a good little project car. Mm -hmm. um, it's more of our lower grade car. If you're checking out our website, you want to, this one's going to be priced under 20,000 bucks. Yeah, so we try to have um, a little bit, you know, Something for everybody, but we mainly stick with that, you know. Yeah. Nicely done, local car, local car show quality car. Smells good. Take a whiff. Big J's 24 7 cooking. I'm cooking Ooh, new I'm restaurant. Cleaning, I'm cleaning cars and cooking food for anybody wants them. Oh my God, Jay. <laughs> I like Anything it. Anything to make money, Jay. That's all the new inventory that we have for you this week. Comment down below which one of those is your favorite. And also, if you had a Toyota like that, we want to hear about it in the comment section. Um, so let us know. See you guys. All right, thank you for watching this week's video. Hope you enjoyed it. I know we uh, enjoyed making it. A lot of neat stuff going on at Coyote Classics every day. Uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss another one of our videos. And hit that little bell, too, so it keeps you in the loop whenever we post a uh, new car. There's a little bell really? right there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Cool. All right, what do you got to say in closing? Man, I can't wait to take this thing out. Let's go. Let's go for a cruise and take this thing out for a rip. Sounds good. Can't pass that up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.